How's your day? Great. Tired. Great. How was your day? Boring. The only time I went out was when I went to the market and... What was that for? I was in the board meeting all day. And the only thing I had to think about... My wife's Wait, is that a good thing? To be a distraction? You're a very good distraction. <laughs> Wait, at least take off your jacket. Take <laughs> back. Relax. And your tie. It's a bit too tight. <laughs> Can you do it this quickly? That's awesome. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I saw this kid yesterday. How was that? Mm. I've seen him there before. You know, it's strange that a boy of that age will be out there rather than being in school. Did you bother asking him? No. Nah, didn't ask him. Okay. Babe. Yep. Babe. Please. You will stay home with me today. I have to work. And you know it. I know, but you own the company. And I didn't get to decide by being complacent. Uh, so you can't stay home with me for just one day? Mm. Okay. I'm a businessman. What's in it for me? Hmm. I'll show you. Babe, can I get a drink, please? Okay, come in. He sends it over the crossbar. Well, he's had a number of chances here today, and he's filled his pants every time. This is hey, Chelsea's getting their ass whooped. It's just thirty minutes into the game. Don't worry. Gonna for last man. Uh, when was uh, the last time you sat down to watch an Arsenal match? Don't ask for life in the Look at this He's man. When I'm always in the kitchen cooking for you. Okay. No, but did you just what? see that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> my food is about to burn. Go on, check my. Don't give me burnt food, though. How is this my fault? Don't say it was. What are you saying? Listen. You pester me, and I'm tired. I'm tired! Hello? My friend Stanley, why are you sleeping here? Are you deaf? You are sleeping on my property and yet you have the infantry to ignore my question. Will you stand up and get out of here before I count one? One? Ryo da. I got open the door. Yeah, I'm busy. 
Why don't you just go home? Are you deaf? I'm sorry, do you talk? Yes. Oh, so you talk? Don't you have a home to go to or parents that are looking for you? They sent me away. What? Your parents sent you away. Why, why would they do that? Where do your parents stay? Ajegunle. The last time I saw you, you didn't sleep here. Where did you sleep? I slept at a store at the market. But the owner saw me and asked me never to come there again. She's serious. I'm late for work. Take it, use it to buy yourself some food. I'm sure you must be hungry. Thank you. Thank you. 
Calm down, calm down. It's me. You, you can't sleep here now, all night now. You can't live life like this. How old are you? I'm 15 years old, sir. 15 years old? And your father threw you out? Yes, sir. Come, let's go. Follow me, follow me. What's the problem? Sir, why are you helping me? What do you mean, why am I helping you? My father told me that Anytime a rich man you don't know starts helping you, that he wants to use you for ritual. Your father told you that? The same father that threw you out? Okay, listen. I promise you, I'm not using you for ritual. Just follow me. Come, come, before the neighbors here. Look, come. Mujaga. Oga? They don't come. My friend, open the door. Idiot. Open the door, come. Oga, the Oga. <laughs> Why are they paying you for the fear? You know, nobody had the fear. <laughs> My boss. Now, man, you be Oga. So, um, I want this young man to stay in your space tonight. Hmm? Mujiaga. Oga? Okay. Oga, okay, you, you, you search and wear so. Because you know all these boys, excuse the kind bag we carry. Before you know now, you could begin three for the valuables over here. Mudi, I bring someone to stay in your space, my guest. And you are interrogating me in my own house. Something they do you. Yeah, sorry, sir. No, not be like that, Oga. Okay. So I just, I just they, they carry out my obligator. And they do my job, sir. You know, say my job for years and to serve and to protect my boss. But that boss never be you now. Oh, okay. God! My friend. <laughs> Come sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Me too. You know, me say, my God bring this boy to call replace me. It's more than I go tell me, say, it's a rap. Ah, John, how are you? You're yeah, welcome, eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Please, that is it. John, John. Come now. So, Nothing. what can I offer you now? Nothing. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, let someone buy you malt. No, At it's least okay, malt. Sir. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Ah, this one, okay, okay. No one, okay. Thank ah, you. Where did you see? So, I found him sleeping in front of my compound. He's been sleeping there for a few days now. I confronted him and he told me that his parents threw him out. So I decided to bring him on to see what the problem was. My brother, this John you see here, so he's a very good boy, you. Very, very good boy. And very hardworking. Very disciplined. And a smart boy, too. But not be my son. Eh? He's not my son. My brother. I pick him at a dump site. So I raise him up. And I've been helping him to grow like a mature boy. Until I now decided that he should be old enough to go and fend for himself. If he's to join all these uh, bricklayers, all these quam quam, we borrow, anything he can do. He's, he's just a boy. Now, no money for to continue. After all, my own father threw me out at the age of 40 years. So, anything I be now, I started suffering from a young man. Eh? As you see me here, so I live for this one room here. Four children. I trained them in primary school from this one room. Eh? But I try for him now, I put him through secondary school, which my father did not even think. I. I try. So he could just join all these uh, Hong Kong people now, all these bricklayers, all these uh, wheelbarrow people. He could just start, start from, from there. He's a man now. Ah, I would not kill myself because I do I do charity, pick somebody, train rich like this. Ah, if I have money, I can train him to anywhere, but I don't have. I don't have. That's a problem. Hey. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. Hey. Where's your husband? Ah, probably on one of his missions to save the world. You know him. Mm -hmm. So how are you managing her? Babe, I thank God. Gave me a man that understands. Doesn't pressure me at all. Mm. Maybe there's a reason for that. What? Ah, come on now. Use your head. He doesn't disturb you for children. Uh -huh. He's the only son of his parents. Mm -hmm. And the last in his lineage. Ah. There must be something, or no? What? What, Queen? Maybe he has used his manhood for rituals. <laughs> <laughs> Queen, you won't kill me. Please, I beg. My shola is not the kind of man. Really? Yes, really. Then explain to me why he's come about it. Ah, ah. Sister, see, your husband has something to hide. Does that make him a ritualist? Queen, please. Of all the things in the world, shola a ritualist. How does that compute in your head now? Come on. Okay. Explain his sudden wealth. Within seven years, your husband has achieved what his peers have been trying to achieve all their lives. Does that make him a ritualist, for goodness sake? Okay. Queen, look, if you appreciate this friendship between me and you, don't you ever say such a thing to me again. Can you imagine? I was just looking out for my friend. Ah, don't look out for me. Don't look out for me. Don't say such a thing to me again. How can you call Shala a ritualist? Not there. Uh, no, uh, uh, drink your wine. Ha. What are looking out for me? No vex, so your blood today hot. Do you I'm trying to help. Yeah. Can it be true? Shola, a ritualist. No, it can't be. What if it is? What if that's the reason why we don't have any children? Can that be it? No, no. Shola is a good man. Do I really know my husband as much as I think? 
Okay. Hey, babe. Babe, how are you? Okay. Uh, I'm sure you're hungry. I made you your favorite meal. Okay, food can wait. Mm. There's something I want us to talk about. Okay. Now, remember that boy that was always in front of our house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I saw his parents today. Okay. They threw him out. What? Yeah. Apparently he's not their real son and they can't even fend for their own children, so they threw him out. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. So I was wondering if he could stay here in the meantime with Mudiaga, that is. Of course, yes. Why not? Great. Thank you. Is he here? Yeah, he's outside. You want to see him? Yes. Sure. What did you do now? I left. Oh, I left his house. What about the boy? He's in Mudiaga. I'll introduce two of you when we get. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Bombs. It's not just still on your face. Guy. Guy. Mama, chill now. Ah. I don't envy you. I don't envy you at all. You know how they be. Sometimes I feel God is punishing me for what I did. Yeah, you can't say that. You know, we promise ourselves not to raise this issue. Let it go. But what do you have to talk now? Look at. Yes, listen. Surely, I'll be candid with you. Right? A rich man. A wealthy. There's nothing you cannot afford. There's nothing on earth you can afford. You can adopt children if you want. Yes. You can adopt hundreds if you want. But you can take care of them. My mother doesn't think it's the same thing. She feels it will always be somebody else's child. Who cares about what mama says? What's mama's opinion in this kind of thing? Who cares about that? Huh? Look about that one. The person you should be bothered about is Ada. What does Ada feel about adoption? You get my point? If she's okay, I mean, come on. Adopt children. Now. We've not talked about it yet. I think you guys should. You guys should talk about it. Yeah. For real. By the way, where is she, sir? Where is my sister? She go market to... Oh. Hey boy, let's talk better things. You can only see some things on your body. Your skin is changing. Your skin is changing. <laughs> Chooks up there. <laughs> How is business? Business is fine, though. I want to um, expand operations. Surely be. Good boy. <laughs> Oil and gas. Envy you. Why? 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 Why are you asking why? Don't you know why I envy you? Why? Do you are big boy. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You go soon leave us for Millionaire's Club, man. Enter Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm happy for you, man. Really happy. Small, small boys taking over board my job. Small time, okay, we say, move yaga. You don't have any job here. We are going to lay you off. Like a, oh God. Oh my God. All these small, small boys. They don't even know what life is talking about. They will just come here and be doing anyhow. Sir. Oh my God. Sir. You are hearing me. Sir? Yes? Are you singing about me? Singing about you? <laughs> I'm not singing about you. You, you are my friend. Eh? I'm just singing about some yellow small, small boys who don't know what life is talking about that want to take somebody's job. And that's the problem. As it is now. God is hearing me now. What a life. Look at some small, small boys. Asking me stupid questions. Oh my God, I'm getting angry. 
What can I do now? What can I do now? As you are seeing me now, everything is facing me now. I don't want to... Why is your head so big? Where are you coming from? Don't tell me. You've been hanging out with Chooks again, Abby? Mm hmm Don't you know Chooks is a drunk, for goodness sake? Every time you hang out with Chooks, you end up coming home drunk. I'm not drunk, I just had a glass of whiskey. One glass of whiskey? You smell like you drank the whole bottle. I don't know how to drink. Of course, you don't know how to drink. See, 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 see. I need a bath. Yes, you do need a bath. So please go and have a bath. You might have a bath with me. I'm not having a bath with you. Please. <laughs> no. Mommy, please. No, you're not a baby. You're a girl, man. I'm your baby. You're not a baby. Really? Yes. <laughs> Mommy, please. Okay. You are my baby. <laughs> You just keep spoiling me, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what are you watching? Hmm. So, this guy, yeah, has been under pressure from his father. So eventually, oh, he goes and does rituals. Wow. What happens then? Ah. My dear, he dies, oh. <laughs> no, leave. Hollywood and their imagination, they have come again. Um, is it something you would do? Something like what? Don't mind me, I'm just playing watch. Just ask. No, it's a silly question now. I said ask. Okay, um, would you... Would you do a ritual to make money? No, it's a silly question now. I was joking. No, it doesn't sound like a joke. It sounds like you're accusing me of something. Like, are you accusing me of something? No. I was just... I was... might be tipsy. But I'm not drunk. Hey, so you think... I used my manhood for a ritual. <laughs> and that's why we don't... Have children? No, that's not what I meant. It was the film. I was just being silly. Babe, no, that's not what I meant. It was a silly question. You're unbelievable. But, babe. I made you breakfast.
know you're not sleeping. Okay, I'm sorry I got mad at you. You're giving me the silent treatment, yeah? See that question. Yeah. You asked the question. And the answer is no. I'm not a ritualist. Then why did it take you so long to answer? I was upset. Because I wondered why you would ask me such a question. But then after thinking I I realized you were scared. Fear does crazy things to people. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. Can I get my crazy on now? What crazy one? I mean, she missed my crazy. <laughs> I knew it all. I had to cut my tree short with Chief to come here. Mm. So you found out he's a cultist? Hey. My dear, sit down. <laughs> my husband has finally confessed. Hey! I knew it. I've always had this suspicion about him. Really? Yes. He, there's something about, you know, he acts in a funny way. Why are you acting strange now? You just found out your husband is a cultist and you're awfully calm. Mm. <laughs> My husband has confessed that he's not a ritualist. Mm. And you believe him? Why won't I believe him? Is he not my only husband? Do I have more than one? But you see you. You know what is expendable? Friends like you. I can get rid of the old ones and have as many new ones as I want. But you see you. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not. What, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, you see this friendship that me and you have, Queen. Yeah, this is good friendship. Uh -uh. It's over. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm going to give me that, joke, that drink now. Are you serious? Are you mad? See, get up here eh, and get out of my house. Out now! And if you see me coming, cross the other way. Out! Move your hand! Move your hand, Queen! Get out of your house! Move your so, what's your plan? Or what are your plans? Sir? You hear me? I said, what are your plans? Or don't you have any? I do, sir. So, what are they? Um, I want to go to school. School? Sounds like a good plan. Okay, do the necessary exams and I'll sponsor your education. Sir. I just said I'll sponsor your education. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir. God bless you, sir. Stand up, stand up, stand up. God bless you, sir. God will prosper you, prosper your family. Thank you so very much, sir. Okay, it's okay, stand up, sir. Sir, but uh, there is just one problem, sir. What is it? I couldn't write my wire because my father didn't have the money to pay. I just said I'll sponsor your education. I am, that's not the problem, sir. What is the problem, sir? If I am to be registered for the WIAC, which surname am I going to use? What name were you going to use initially? Uchendu, but that was before I found out that he's not my father. 
I was wondering... You're wondering if you could use my name. It's not that easy. You have to be my son to use my name. I'm sorry, sir. It's sorry, okay, you don't sir. have to be sorry. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Good night, sir. Yeah. So I've been thinking lately. About? About us. What about us? So, since we're not getting any younger, I was just thinking, why don't we adopt? Have you given up hope already? No, no, no. I haven't. I'm I'm only saying we adopt because, if only to get Mama off our backs. Okay, so what do you suggest? We go from orphanage to orphanage looking for a child. What do you think about John? He's smart. He's hardworking. What about him? No, no, no. You can't adopt a grown man as a child, hon. Come no, on. No. He doesn't have any parents, no ties to anyone. We'll just adopt him. And that will save you the stress of taking care of another woman's child. Think about it. But will Mama accept a grown man as a child, as a grandchild? Mama will accept a chimpanzee as a grandchild. All she wants, just give you the Durujaya name, that's all. I don't know about this. I, I don't know. I plan on telling him tomorrow. You've had this all figured out? No, I... Every time I see the boy, he reminds me of myself. Of my struggles, of my journey. I mean, I, I knew my parents, but you know I had to go through life as an orphan. Everything I am, everything I own, everything I can ever aspire to be, I owe to my godfather who took me in, paid for my education and my training, introduced me to businessmen and politicians. And look at me today. Yeah. If someone did it for me, why can't I do it for John? As a mentor, not as a father. Why can't I be both? <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to love him as our son. <laughs> Something. All I'm asking is that you try. Please. I don't. I don't. What did you do? I'm preparing for my YEC examination. For YEC? Eh? Yeah. Wait a Now, God go pay for this exam. Uh -uh. Come on. You know, could really say for five years with me, our God don't do this house. God never asked me once whether I go go to school. You don't underrate me. You know, when they go to school, they get too hard. I mean, this is not a security job I go to marry. Okay. You still no fail. Yeah? Once it comes to education for my matter, I'll go to the office and say, Sarah. You're good now. 
I don't want me you know to say, you know they fair. I feel like it's all that they call me. You want to shut up Hey, John. Yes, sir. How are you? Hi, sir. Okay. Have you eaten? Yes, sir. Hmm? Okay. We have something to tell you. And you might want to sit for this one. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, my wife and I have had our challenges you know, with having children. So, we have um, decided to adopt. Okay, sir. And we have chosen to have you as our son. So, John, this is, this is us asking you if you'd like to be a part of this family. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you so much. It's okay. Get up, get up. Now come sit with Daddy. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mom. Morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did, Mom. And you? Are you okay, Mom? This thing, it's going to take getting used to. Yesterday you were calling me Auntie. Today you're calling me Mom. So I shouldn't call you Mom? Just call me auntie. Okay. Are you going in, mom? Sorry, auntie. <sighs> so this is your account, right? Mm -hmm. And you can set 
to not disturb, but it's gonna ring out after three times and don't pay. Okay. If that's if it's really urgent. Okay. Yeah. Then um, your storage. All you young people, people don't know how to store things. Don't store nonsense in your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I have told you. Then you must set um, your data, data usage reminders so that 3K, 3,000 naira. <laughs> you finish it, your Pokemon. What else? So yeah, try, let's see. Fork in the left hand, knife, right, good. So, down with the fork, pin it down with the fork, good. Slice with the knife. You get it, just try. Okay. Exactly. Fuck yeah. Mm hmm. The knife, drive it in. Good. Mm hmm. Is Auntie okay? Sanchez, your mom. I know, but she asked me to be calling her auntie. Oh. Yeah. She's fine. Try. Why don't you try this? Let's take the rice. you and I feel bad that I feel terrible that I can't give you a child. Hey. John is our son now. I'm sorry. I can't love him. I tried. I really have tried but See him as our son. I never expected it to be an easy transition. Are you happy? Auntie, I passed my jump examination. Mm. Good for you. Two fifty on your 
first try. Fantastic. This is good. You're like your father. <laughs> we need to celebrate this. Ada! Babe? Babe? Yeah, what? Come, 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 come. Have you seen our son's result? Uh -huh. 250 on his first try. Uh -huh. Good for him. It's fantastic. We have to celebrate. I say, let's go out. At this time of the night. Baby, it's just 7.30 now. Can we be back before 9? No, I've got to clean up the kitchen. Come on now, you can do that when we come back now. Mm -mm. I'd, I'd rather do it now. Okay, are you ready? Go we'll change. Fantastic. What? He's like, it's fine, Amy. Come on, go to him. Amy, we won't go. Go to him, get for you. Queen. Hello? Queen. Well, well, well. I thought I was never going to dial your number again. But so why are you dialing mine? Please, Queen, I need to talk to you. You're the only friend that I have. I really need to see you and talk to you. Friends do push friends out from their house, no matter what. I know. And I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Can we just, can you just come over so we can talk? The last time I did, we both knew how that turned out. Queen, I'm sorry. Please, I just need someone to talk to. Mm, okay. I'll come back tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. See you soon. Alright, bye bye. Open your gates they say which one. Ah. Your madam is expecting me. What, you, you, what is your plan? Basically? You want to put me in trouble? The, ah. last, time, the last time you, you came here, you and my mother argue, argue, argue. My mother tells you, say, rap. Your madam is expecting me. Go my open my the gates. I cannot be expecting you. And then not tell me. Are you what mad? You no. I've been here telling these guys to open the gates. Since telling what me. Cannot... Not open the gate. What did you say? You just say, say rap that day. Which one be? Open which gate now? Open the gate. Open the gate. Just like that. Just open the gate. Like that. I swear I'll never step in foot in here again. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Please. You look like you've been living in hell. Hell doesn't even start to describe. Like, my life is a total nightmare right now. Tell me about the new development. You know that boy, that Shola? picked up from the street. Mm-mm. He has adopted him as a son. What? That is outrageous. And what did you say about what it? What can I say, Queen? What can I say about this it? This is the reason why men feel they can step on us. Because they feel we are powerless. I wish I had your strength. How do you feel? Sad. Angry. Alone. Good. Good. It's not that I'm angry that Shola adopted that boy as his son, but it's the way that he is around the boy. Everything is about John, 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 John. He doesn't show me any affection. You know, and what is worse is you know, how I feel when I'm around that boy. Like, I feel, you know, I haven't been able to be a child for Shola. And that boy just reminds me, makes me feel like a failure. Where did you say that boy came from again? He doesn't know where he came from. Or he said he doesn't have parents or he doesn't know who his parents are. One of them. And you believe that? What do I believe? My dear, a boy without parents, you think he will just show up on, at your gate one morning? That's something fishy. I mean, out of all the houses he would have gone, why the house where the, he knows they're in desperate need for a child? Think about it. 
you know. Now that you put it that way, it does, it does sound fishy. See, I think your husband has something he's hiding. Something big and we need to find it out because that's the key to everything. This is what we'll do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the clothes. Take them and go and wash them outside. Auntie, should I use the washing machine? If the washing machine was working, would I tell you to wash them with your hands? My friend, will you carry this in and go and wash? Do you have washing machine from where you're coming from? Move! John! Come here! I'm gonna take more. John! Auntie, I'm done washing the clothes. Mm. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm not cooking till the evening. So there's no food in the house. Auntie. Have you finished cleaning the kitchen? Yes, ma'am. You've washed all the plates. Yes, ma'am. You swept the living room. You've mowed the lawn. You've cleaned the front of the house. Okay, take these clothes. I want you to wash them and have them washed properly before midday. Auntie. What? I wanted to use today and prepare for my post UTMA examination. Mm -hmm. You read after you finish washing or you read at night. You're ungrateful. You live in this big house. You eat my food. You sit back, you relax. So that you cannot wash the clothes of the people who keep you in this type of place? <laughs> Sit. You can, you're a man. Pick them all up, one after the other. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. Open the door. You can see yourself out. Mm -hmm. Good. And make sure you close the door behind you. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh -huh. Very good. Ah, uh -uh, you forgot one. Open the door. Good. Monty. Have you finished washing? I washed them halfway. I'm really tired. I spent the previous night ironing the ones I washed the previous day. So I said, let me rest a little and then I'll continue. My husband went to Abuja for a business conference for two weeks. Why didn't he stay back and say he's tired, he wants to rest? Me, I'm cooking and cleaning the whole day. Why don't I sit back and say I want to rest? My friend, before I close and open my eyes, go and finish washing.
John. I treated you very harshly. I know. I made you wash clean clothes with your hands when there was absolutely nothing wrong with the machi washing machine. I've starved you. And you haven't complained. Well, in my house, sometimes you stay for two days without eating. I'm used to going hungry. I'm so sorry. This isn't me. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you, John. I hate the way I feel when I'm around you. I feel like... I feel threatened. I feel like I'm a failure. I feel like... How long have you had this? I can't remember. I don't know. Have you served my meal? Yes, Papa. Your food is already served in your room. How was I supposed to know that you have served my meal? Hmm? I've always told you, you're not a very bright woman. I'm sorry, Papa. You got it inside. Should I bring it for you here? Don't worry, I don't worry. I'll locate where the food is. Okay, Papa. Hey, before I forget, I won't stay there. I'll be going for night vigil this night. Night vigil again. Yes, Papa. <sighs> Jesus, you are serving. If he was that powerful, why didn't he save your mother while she was dying? Why doesn't he heal your sick father? Huh? You risk your life every Friday night only to come back to the problems the same way you left them. Papa, God has reason for everything that happens. Only he knows the reason why Mama had to leave us. Hmm. Now, tell me why. She served him. She prayed to him. I even had to pray to him sometimes. Now, if he was that powerful as your pastor claimed, he should have saved my wife. And yet, she died. And you are still serving him? I'm going to... Ada? Sir? Yes, Papa. You have changed. You no longer wake up the time you do. Looking sickly. 
vomiting everywhere in the house. If I didn't know better, I would have said you're pregnant. No, Papa, I'm not. Will you shut up there? How can you explain all, 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 all the vomiting you do in the house? I don't know, Papa. Maybe I'm sick. Sick, Iqua. Ada, you are pregnant. <laughs> Come, this is not the time to cry. It is the time for planning. It is time for you to pick your things and go join your soupy sister in law. And don't you ever come back even after you've had your baby. Except you're coming with the people of the, of the man that got you pregnant. Or I would have died. you worry about me? Do you know what easy means? I would rather starve to death than to have any of you spoil that name. Now get inside and get and, 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 and prepare yourself to go to Lagos. <laughs> Auntie, are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, yes. Can this be real? Is it really him? No way. It can't be. How can I be sure? God. Is this real? Babe, what's up? You've been keeping me here for 30 minutes. Hoffa, mm. have you driven the boy away? No. Uh -uh. Why? I thought that's what you wanted. No, that's what you wanted. What are you saying? You called my phone asking me to advise you. And I did. Hey. So what are you saying now? I called you here so I can tell you that I no longer need your advice. Not now. Not ever. I don't blame you. Eh? I don't blame you now. I blame my jobless self. That I'm always coming every time you call for rescue. After everything I've done for you. What have you done? Me? What have you done for me? The only thing that you're good at is sowing seeds of discord and disharmony between me and my husband. Uh uh. You're an agent of destruction. Me? Yes. Hey, you are destruction. Yes. Uh uh. I never learned. It's my fault. I never learned. You did it the first time. I still came and was. Hey, hey. And you're doing it again. I just came here because I thought we were friends. Huh? Yes. Friends. Yes. You and who are friends? You see that friendship? It's over. I don't want your friendship anymore. Say, you want me to throw it? Because I will fit out of you. Give me my back. Ah! I'm never coming here. Don't come. Don't come. You can call my phone. You can call my phone. Who knows your number? Get down! It's friends like you. Who needs an enemy? 
agent of destruction every time. It's bad advice. Baby. Hey. Mm. Okay. You've been quite different since I came out. How? You were strange. Strange how? With John. You talk less harshly to him. You play with him. You act like his mother. And is that a bad thing? No, no. It's what I've always wanted. To tell me what happened this past two weeks that I traveled. <laughs> what thing happened? You know, I just came to the conclusion that John needs a mother. And I want to be that to him. Wow. Mrs. Durajaya, I must say that you have surprised me. So, you finish with that. There's nothing good in the news nowadays. Stock market crashes, mm. dollar going its own way, xenophobia, end of the world. Whoosh. Um, okay. I've been thinking, I wanted to ask you something. Would you want to ask it? <laughs> okay, um... Can you give me the address of John's guardian? I'd like to pay the man a visit. Why would you want to do that? I just want to pay the man a visit. Maybe just give him a little something to say thank you for taking a boy in that wasn't even his. You know, the man needs to be rewarded. Rewarded for what? Throwing him out? He should be thrown into jail. No, but babe, look at it this way. If he did not do that, we would not have met him. And we probably would have still been sad and hopeless, so... Probably right. I'll clear my schedule tomorrow so we go together. No, 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 no. There's nothing for us to go together. You've been there before. Let me go on my own. Why? Babe, tomorrow is Monday, and you know how Mondays are for you. Okay. Remind me to give um, Mudiaga the address so he can drive you there. Since when did I start getting kisses on the cheek? <laughs> Maybe if you want to thank me, then we will. Okay. Another one. <laughs> oh, I need to go back upstairs. Okay. You big baby. <laughs> Try to hide it and suppress it, forget it. It may one day come alive just to bite you. Wise up, nothing ever goes away. They shall come back, it will burn in your heart. Oh, like fire, fire, it's a scene of yesteryear. This is karma. Do I owe this your unusual visit? Uh, my husband said I should come and see you just to say thank you for what you have done for John. Ah, uh -uh, madam. Uh -uh, you could have talked to me on phone now instead of stressing yourself to come here. 
It's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, sir. It's okay. Anyway, how is he? Fine. He's very fine. He's, You're welcome. He eh? could not come with me today because he went to the library to read for his UTME examination. <laughs> Small job. <laughs> Ah, he wants to enter university. Hey, yeah. Oh, I'm happy for this. Eh? Thank you, sir. It's a good news. Thank you, sir. Thank eh? you, sir. How is Madame and the kids? Oh, Madame has gone to where she sells her things, so. Okay. And the kids have gone to school. Okay. So you're home alone. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. I'm enjoying the quietness. Mm. You see, when they come back from school now, the noise. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I can't those imagine. Those children, I don't, they will not kill me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Mr. Joshua. Yeah, just call me Joshua. <laughs> eh? Everybody around here calls me Joshua. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> Mr. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua, okay, no problem. Okay. No problem. Um, I wanted to come and talk to you about John. He's passed. Where did you find him? <laughs> eh? It's a long time now. Eh? I think my memory, I, you know, is not as active as it used to be. Eh? But um, I think I can still remember. I can try. One day, I was just coming from work, you know, because I did not have enough money in my pocket to enter bus. So I had to take bush path, a longer bush path, so to get to my house. As I was coming home, I was hearing small picking crying inside inside bush. So, what is this small picking doing inside bush? I wanted to move after all, what concerns me. But this small picking was crying, crying, crying. I came closer to the place. Ah, inside. It was a dump site. Somebody dropped a small picking inside the inside the carton. I, I shouted, hey, beautiful boy, you. So, I didn't want to pick him up because I already have my other children. And there was no money with me to train my other children. I see if I leave this picking here, snake, all these uh, ants will bite this boy to death. Out of sympathy, I picked that small picking. You know, I carry him home. That was how I picked John. That is the story. <laughs> that day, eh? You're mm. a good man, sir. You are a very good man. Mm. Madam, uh, anybody can be a good man. It's just a matter of choice. What your mind tells you. Mm? Anybody can be a good man. Which one be this one again? Please. What is inside it? Madam. Please, sir. You don't know what you have done for me and my husband. Please, just take this. You don't know the cost of your No, madam. Please, no, 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 I'm not taking I'm not taking I cannot please, accept this. Please, you must. Please. You do not know what you have done for me and my husband. We've been married for 10 years. We have been looking for a child. If you did not find John that day, he never would have ventured into our lives. Please, sir. Please. Madam. Thank you very much. Please look after John for me very yes, much. Eh? Yes, we will. We will. Um, I'll take my leave now, sir. Eh? Yes. Hey, uh, greet your husband. I will. I will. My regards to John. Eh? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, my regards to Thank you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I will I will greet her. <laughs> thank you. Eh? Thank you, sir. Hey. Mother, thank you. Eh? <laughs> greet your husband. Eh? Hey. This woman is a good woman. Eh? Eh? Happy birthday, John! <laughs> Drinking like holy communion. You should sit him out to hold his wine glass now. I will. Wait, open up that glass. Shouldn't we take a picture before? Yes, we should. Set your timer. You know how to set your timer? Wow, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. Can I take the chair first? Babe. Okay, cheat day, cheat day. Yeah, oh yeah, cut it. <clears throat> One. Oh ah, yes. In your mind. Super.
<laughs> okay, you cut the cake on three. One, two, three! Happy birthday, Happy baby. Birthday. Okay, alright. So, big piece of smoothie. You know how I like it. <laughs> But you have to just take the this first. Right. Yes. With all the sugar in the cup. world. There you go. Thank you. John? Give the weather boy a big chunk. Damn, careful. Nice and. Mmm. Really nice. Mmm. I just got admitted into Uni Lauren to study medicine. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want to continue? Oh, I thought you didn't want me to pick out the white one. You're <laughs> you your baby way. <laughs> you spoiled me. <laughs> okay, I'm about to pull one. Is it going to hurt you? No, it shouldn't hurt me. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, baby or four. You want to do this? Okay, yes, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. John! Come yes, on, that's it. Uh -huh. So I'm going to host, yeah, to John being a successful medical doctor in years to come, right? Yeah. 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 Very successful. Oh, that would, you know that's going to That's the plan. So who's going to clean it up now? Is it John? Yeah, <laughs> it Okay, and one, two. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Daddy proud. <laughs> and your mom. Okay, so baby toast. You go. Oh, you go. The man of the house. <laughs> toast to the most successful doctor ever. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Simple. You're supposed to be home by now. <laughs> you worry too much. The United States is not Abuja. He'll be home soon. And we'll see him. <laughs> okay. Still as beautiful as ever. <laughs> it's your mouth. It can cause dysentery. <laughs> I have the best life. How did I become so perfect? 
everything turned out well in the end. So it seems. So Chus was asking me the other day mm. how we have managed such longevity and peace mm. in our marriage. And I said to him, if you want to enjoy the peace and longevity that we have enjoyed, tell your wife everything. Just tell her the truth. Simple. <laughs> mm, you know what? Mm. Our next anniversary, we will throw a big party. We will invite everybody. Let them come and see the wife that I married. My good woman, my beautiful wife. I love you so much. Are you okay? You would be mad at me. I just didn't know how to tell you. John is your son. I don't tire for this. If you now, I don't know if you will. One week remaining, man. Can't wait to finish. Good luck for this guy, 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 guy. Hello. Hi. Hello. Why this baby behave like this now? She just bust my brain. Don't talk to her. I think I've not done that. She just formed this holier than thou attitude. See, I say she's the first Christian. Even not the best, the first city. And this one of that same thing. Uh, guess now, guess. They will form. They will form like this. They will be washed. Mm. This people are ah, not feeling. Oh, this big fan shah. Damn. Yeah, I'm not too sure about how many days. Listen, if I be you, I will calm down. Two weeks, you don't leave this area. Go back. Go there. Go meet. You. This one. Oh, more no, this one. Oh, more bad. This one. That way. The body will say this. That's those two days for that. I don't tire for them. Maybe they just transfer person. Maybe person come on. So I suppose just the nasty the nasty. I see the half one. I really more go drink now. Nah, me I don't guess. My head like this. My head they knock. I know if you go anywhere, go drink. Guy headache. Come on, headache. Now you they complain like this. What they do you? Guy, headache now headache. Anyone want fix you? Guy, I know that's I know one good drink. I know good. Okay. Oh my guy, that that baby. I just think of that girl. Half one now. Which, which game? That, that babe now. Nah. The other way we see for you. Yeah, now. Nah. Guy, that babe, she knows saying, you just could free the girl. Oh, man, I know if you free the girl. I think of that girl badly. 
I love man, I got sense. You love Ada. I guy, I'll be just one wash him. Are you going to wash with him? Now love now, I love her. You know what you have if you go love her now. As you they talk now, the team they make my head. If I feel mad, they they I beg, I won't go inside. Make her go inside. Go I won't go there. Are you sabi? What did they pursue you? Baby. Which baby that now? That girl, that girl we see Ada. Ada, I hate you doing. Guy, guy, fuck up. I messed up. I messed what up. you do now? What job you messed up? What you do? I, I raped her. Get out! I you see you do? I swear, I swear. Guy, you raped her. I raped her. I was drunk. I didn't know what I did. I was drunk. I was drunk. It wasn't my fault. Shut up! You, 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 the thing be they touch me for my no go, no come on, no come on. You know they hear. You, you don't go to person. She see your face. I don't think so. You don't think so? You sure? Yes, yes. No, no. I don't, I don't yes, know. No. I don't know. I don't know. Guy. See, uh, look. See, uh, sweetie, girl, see, uh, let me just keep a low profile, you understand? Just act like, see, nothing happened. You understand? Just pretend. Mm? And they pray, eh? Yeah? Say she no see your face. They pray, say you no know, recognize you anywhere. And uh, after all this thing, eh? Yeah? Mm? You will not enter prison. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm eh? sorry after yeah, this, you will yeah, not yeah, enter yeah, prison. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Our friendship, it will end. I beg, guy, I beg, I beg. I don't believe you so get. See, look, make sure see, eh? You will not talk this thing again. Hmm? Just forget say this thing happen. Just, just forget say it happen. Guy. No, just remember now. Whoever that has done this grave injustice to me, Whoever he may be, may he never be able to bear children in his life. He will look for children in his life, but he will never hear the cry of any child in his house. <laughs> Guy, guess what I see today? You know I'm not good with guessing now. You are telling me, don't tell me. Just guess now. I'm not good with guessing now. Guess. Ah. Okay, Ada. <laughs> How you taking it? Salah. You met Ada? Yes. For this Lagos? Yes. She paved on fire. It's just... We had that one before. You see that girl now? <laughs> but Shola, why are you excited? You're supposed to be worried. Because I asked the girl on a date and she said yes. You asked the girl that you raped out on a date. I like the girl now. Does that make sense? I'll be one rip him again. What's the worry you now? What's the do you? I like, really like the girl. Just try and take a girl that I like out on a date. But you don't rip a girl that you really like, Shola. But I thought that we mentioned that we were not going to say this again. Yes, we said that, but I mean... You don't mention her twice. Sorry now. Yes, I agree. I've, I've wronged you. But I'm trying to make a point out here. That? I mean, it's stupid. Truth, this thing is not stupid now. I like this girl, you know. Girl, where you abandoned how many years? Then all of a sudden, you run into the girl. You start falling in love. Is that some guilt trip or something? No, it's not any guilt trip. You know this now. I'm not about to make the same mistake with, with that girl again. I'm not going to do it. Ada is God fearing. She's everything I want in a woman. Are you sure? Or are you just trying to make an atonement for your sins? Why can't it be both? Why? <laughs> well, you have some point there too. More like, you know, killing two birds with a stone, right? Precisely. So it's because of the curse that I placed on you. That's why I cannot have children. Because of you. Why would you do this to us? Why would you do this to me? Did you think that there will be no repercussions for your actions? You made me throw away your baby. I doubt if God will ever forgive me. Why? Why? I was drunk that night. You were I a monster. 
and you were a coward. You destroyed my life. You took away my innocence. Because of what? One minute of pleasure. And you know what's more pathetic is that you think that by marrying me will wash away your sins. I won't let you die. I won't die so far in love. I won't die. I won't die. After all, you kept John the secret from me all these years. Don't you dare. You hear? Don't you dare. Fine, I'm the beast. I'm the beast for raping you. I'm the evil one. I'm the devil. I'm the boogeyman. Innocent yourself. You're not any good yourself keeping such a secret from your husband. I was scared! I was scared! Oh, my people are scared! They do stupid things! Which is why I'm asking you to please forgive me! Just forgive me! So we deserve each other. You know what's funny? Shut up. As much as I hate you right now, I still love you. And I forgive you. Let's prepare for our son. Do, do we tell him? No. We're not going to complicate his life. But he deserves to know the truth. There's some truth. That shouldn't be spoken. As a virtue in ignorance. something I want to tell you. Mm. I've got something I want to tell you. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Welcome, son. <laughs> Welcome back, my boy. Look at you. I really missed you guys. Aww. Like, I missed this place. <laughs> missed you too, son. How's school been? Yeah. I have a lot of stories to tell you guys I'm about sure. school, mm -hmm. about the flight, about everything Easy. happening Get there. Everything. First, I want you to drop your bags upstairs and come down. I made you your favorite. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie. Oh, gosh, 
Nigeria. Look at this. You've lost so much weight. Well, <laughs> doctor in the making. Dad, not just any doctor. No. I'm have a 4.89 GP. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> well, I was a 4.9, so you're still okay. coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Go upstairs before your mother. <laughs> you know, she's going to feed you fat today. <laughs> Mom, I hope you didn't tamper with my room. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Did you find out? <laughs> Daddy! Yeah? Oh, leave mom to go to the kitchen. I have something I have to tell you. Hurry, come! Okay. This boy. Come! What do you want to show me, this young man? Hmm? <laughs> Sometimes, I wonder what could have brought him here. Of all the places in the world he could have wandered off to, he chose here. The one place where the people were in need of a child. When I think about it, I come to the conclusion that it is love. Love is a powerful force, like gravity. It draws people together, whether they are miles apart, lifetimes apart. Love is God. Yeah, this is common 